The Japanese scrum has been superb all game. They haven't lost a scrum on their feet. The boxer wheeled in there, heavy artillery, Yanni Duplessy. Huge front row for South Africa, Eddie Jones on the verge of this colossal upset. If it comes up. And the beast to come on having said on the beach. Probably cold, probably cool down for a lot. And what a big scrum this is for South Africa. 13 seconds to go. Penalty advantage. Remember, South Africa have a man in the bed. Do they go for the draw, John? Or do they go for the win? Oh, I don't know. Famously once Dr. Donnie Craven said a draw is like kissing your sister. It's, it's the win they're going for. A draw would be an unbelievable result. You still have to kick it over under enormous pressure. A win would just be the upset of all upsets. Of all time. Of, in the history of sport. It's a pretty good scrap on the South African team that last effort, seven men against eight, they were pretty strong and had Japan in a bit of trouble, they'll need to be even stronger this time. A lot of pressure on the referee here as well. Do the Priya has to stay behind the ball in the scrum. Uh, it's gone through the 90. You cannot drive, use it. I don't know, it's not the danger there for a Japan if it's it giving the scrum feet to the opposition yeah. if it goes through the, the full angle. Yeah, that would, that would be a turnover and the, the end of the phase effectively and, and, and the final whistle as, as long as that scrum is reset with the players so it's still deemed to be on. Contrast in the two coaches, Eddie Jones, the technical assistant coach for the Springboks when they won the World Cup. 2007. Now striving to land a knockout blow. Nearly a minute into injury time. Gross! Mine! South Africa with only seven men in their scrum against the Japanese eights. No, no stability. No. Stability, guys. Michael Leach just trying to calm the nerves. Yeah, his control at the back of the scrum is going to be important, isn't it? That last one just got a little bit of a wheel. He controlled it well. Look at that with stress, tension, and a huge element of joy. A glorious performance by the Japanese team. This is rugby theatre at the summit. of injury time. A try will give the Japanese this monumental upset. Makabe. It's tough going for Japan. No! Kawasa goes in. Here goes Leach. He's strong. Great tackle by Strauss. Save the try. Patakawa, Murphy, here we go, Hiskus, come on Hiskus,
incredible heartbreak for South Africa. It's not been a good afternoon for them. But for Japan, well, to the, the bit they know their spoils and thoroughly deserve. They have been enormous this afternoon. They were courageous in not kicking the goal. They went for the tie. It was that man, Mafia, who showed some real good strength, tied the pass to perfection. In at the corner when Heska to steal the game for Japan. One of the most famous victories in the history of sports, I'd go as far as saying, not just in the game of rugby union. And victory it will be for the cherry blossoms. The conversion doesn't really count for much. It's the 84th minute the try was scored. Goromaru then. It's all academic. Our eyes have seen the glory. It's a rugby miracle. Kenny Jones is the president of Japan. It's a national holiday. And it was a Kiwi who came to Japan six years ago from Hawke's Bay with his wife, Carla Hohipa who was a wing for the New Zealand 15-a-side World Cup winning rugby team. What a family and what a moment.